Olá pessoal, Roberta Leite aqui e eu falo com vocês hoje diretamente do Brasil Sul em Chapecó, um dos principais eventos da suinocultura brasileira e hoje é um dia super importante para a MSD, por isso eu falo com vocês diretamente do stand deles, porque a empresa MSD Saúde Animal vai fazer um grande lançamento. E eu tenho o prazer de receber aqui o Stefan Van Berg, Stefan que é diretor global de tecnologia em suinocultura da MSD Saúde Animal. Welcome, Stefan. Welcome to Brasil, welcome to 333. Thank you. Bom dia, Roberto. Bom Thank dia, you. bom dia. E, Stefan, I have one question for you. Okay. We know about MSD, Animal Health, mm -hmm. it has a good and important portfolio of, of swine vaccines mm -hmm. here in Brazil, in Europe. Thank you. Yeah? Yeah. So, what is the motivation, think, to bring the new product to, to our market? Okay. It's, yeah, it's a very good question. And um, it shows what drives us, and this is to support the swine industry and to keep innovating for the swine okay. industry and as you said we already have a pretty broad portfolio and a good portfolio but this does not mean that we cannot get better sure. right sure. so we are always striving to improve ourselves to improve and to be able to support the swine industry in the best way possible perfect always we have a space for that yes always. yes sure, sure. <laughs> perfect uh, about the studies Mm -hmm. uh, what were the main challenges in developing in a formulation of this vaccine, specifically yeah. this vaccine? Yeah. So this vaccine, Circumvent CML, and as the name implies, it combines three antigens okay. in one two milliliter dose, okay. right? And um, each of these antigens has specific needs that we need to put into the vaccine to make it work. Okay. Right? Okay. Um, so. One of the challenges to balance out okay. the three uh -huh. antigens against each other in this one dose. And the second challenge is then to find the right adjuvant exactly. to support all three as they Perfect. need it. Uh -huh. So um, developing combination vaccines is something that is a challenge. It is a good challenge. Okay. And, but also we have a lot of experience in because we did it for a long time. and. Uh, and yeah, this again shows that we are capable to do it. Perfect, it's a good point. So, yeah. could you explain some technical aspects for the vaccine for us? Yeah, so as I said before, it's a trivalent yeah. vaccine. Okay. So, containing three, the three most important antigens protecting against the three most important diseases in piglets. PCV2, Mycoplasma oh. pneumonia, and Lasonia intracellular. Perfect. Um, and this vaccine was developed to provide protection against these three diseases for the piglet until harvest, until slaughter, which it does. Um, in the study works for licensing, of course, we had to establish onset of immunity data, duration of immunity data, that, um, that was given, it is proven, the efficacy is there, so, um, and the vaccine is now being launched in Brazil. It is in the United States okay, for two years okay. and really has shown. Two years? For two years. years yeah. yes. It really has shown its worth and value for the industry there. Perfect. And, but when is the, the most important time to take the vaccine? So the vaccine is designed to be, to be applied around weaning. Okay. So 21 days of age, okay. roughly. Um, and most of the vaccination in the registration trials was done at 21 days. Perfect. But of course, this is always an individual decision on the farm by the consulting veterinarian what timing works best for the vaccination program and the health challenge on the farm. Perfect, perfect. And the last question. Okay. Uh, in your view, how will the vaccine improving herd health and productivity for Brazilian farmers? Yeah. So, um, as the vaccine is a combination, okay. um, the farms will be able to streamline their workflow because they have one vaccination event, it's one time to pick the piglet up, one time to inject it, to protect against these three most important diseases. Um, so the time for the workers on the farm that has been used for a second vaccination, for example, sure. can be used for something else. It's more efficient. Uh, keeping track of the inventory on the mm -hmm. farm gets easier because it's just one product that we need to monitor, sure. yeah? not two or three. Um, so all these are benefits. You have less waste 
practice. Yeah, you, it's 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 more sustainable, etc. Um, and uh, bringing this convenience and this known and expected efficacy, because it will also help to improve the health sure. of the farms, that will increase the productivity That's as well. Perfect. It's a good point because we don't have a lot of people inside on the farms. Yeah. Yeah. So. Work Workforce is always something yes. that is troubling the industry. Perfect. Yeah. So it's very good. Okay. I'm yeah. very happy. I'm waiting very for good. this time. So thank you so much yeah, for you're thank your you. time with us, for sharing a lot of information with okay. us. You're so welcome. today I think it's 6 p.m. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We have a lecture about that, about the yeah. things. It's yeah. the launch event and I will talk about these things, the license data in a bit more detail. Perfect. And uh, there will be other lectures also including practical experience from the United States and a bit more scientific background. So it's going to be good. Perfect. Stefan, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay? Yeah. Perfect.